We have previously seen how to compute the column space for a matrix. However, in the previous video, we'd only looked at it when the matrix was already in RREF form. And in that case, we just said we looked at the leading ones, and then the columns that had leading ones formed a basis for the column space. However, in this video, we should address what happens if the matrix is not already in RREF form. So, for example, consider this matrix here. I've got some particular matrix, and you could do the calculation if you wish, and it would go out into this RREF form. Now, again, if I want to look at the RREF form of it, we notice that there's two different columns that have leading ones. This column here, the first column, and this column there, the third column. However, when you do a row operation, you change the columns. For example, the vector 1, 0, if you interchange two rows, becomes the vector 0, 1. So doing row operations to put into REF is going to change what the columns are. And while maybe the solution set to AX equal to B doesn't change, if you do a row operation that interchanges two rows, then the Bs are going to change as well, so the column space is going to change. However, this is the important result. If we take this matrix A and we, we look at its RREF, and it's the first and third column of the RREF that have the leading ones, then what we get to look at is that the first and third column of the original matrix A, those are going to be the columns for our basis for the column space. And so that we can say if, if this matrix on the left is A, we can say that the column space of the matrix A is just going to be the pair of vectors, the 1, 2, 3, and the 1, 3, 4. In other words, to figure out the column space, you do row reduce it, and you do look at the RREF form and you say, where are the leading ones? But those columns of the RREF form are not the columns you do. They just tell you which columns to look at. They tell you, look at the first and third column in this case. But you go back to the original matrix A to actually look there, and you say, what is the first and third column of the original matrix A? And that will form the basis for your column space.